Majesty, I present my heir and scion, who defended our land from the northern invaders and, with his own sword, stab blooder, vanquished a thousand foes. <laughs> <laughs> Good Majesty, I present my eldest son, who scuttled the Viking longships and with his bare hands vanquished two thousand foes. Clan Dingwall. I present my only son who was besieged by 10,000 Romans, and he took out a whole armada single-handedly. With one arm, he was... With one arm, he was steering the ship, and with the other, he held his mighty sword and struck down the whole attacking fleet. Lies! What? I heard that. Aye, say it to my face. Or are you scared, simpering jackanapes? Afraid to muss your pretty hair. At least we have hair. <laughs> and all our teeth. If he was a wee bit closer, I could love a caber at him, Ken. And we don't hide under bridges, ya grumpy old troll. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna laugh, eh? We ding all! <laughs> <laughs> Had your go at each other, show a little decorum, and no more fighting! Sorry, love, I, I didn't, but... Yes, dear. <clears throat> now, where were we? Ah, yes. In accordance mm. with our laws, no. by the rights of our heritage, only the firstborn of each of the great leaders may be presented as champion. Firstborn? And thus, compete for the hand of the Princess of Dunbroch. To win the fair maiden, they must prove their worth by feats of strength or arms in the games. It is customary that the challenge be determined by the princess herself. Archery! Archery! I choose... archery. Let the games begin! 